But don't you know you have like the ability to wear your curls out and do like afros, twists, cornrows? I corn have ability, but that's not me. I don't like that for me. Like people who do that, that's their style. I'm not afrocentric like that. But ma'am, but that is you because you were born that way. This isn't you because society made you be this way. You think so? Because think about it. If we all lived in a society where it was just black people with their natural hair, mm -hmm. you would be the odd one out, right? So black women put it on today because they see other black women doing it. I think it's a curse. How can you speak? <laughs> I think it's hard you being a man. You you can't really speak on this. Why Have not? you ever dated like a, a black woman before? Uh, I wouldn't call it dating, but maybe been with so yeah i'll go there when you dealt with a black woman do you uh care about like what kind of hair that they are we twins oh no not today maybe tomorrow <laughs> why do a lot of black people today want to be white do you want to be white man i posted on youtube why not I find that I'm a it was 2 a.m on a sunday and i gotta go to work on a monday and you got me out here looking crazy how do you feel about white women who wear box braids? I really don't have a feeling. Oh, you don't care what they do? I mean, we wear weaves, they're not going around asking people how we feel about wearing blonde hair when we black, and we know we're going to have naturally blonde hair. That's true. Like, mine is real. I'm white, but I'm just saying, because a, a, a lot of black women, they get upset that a white woman wears box braids, but I'm like, you guys wear, like, 613 bust downs and blonde wigs. I don't get upset because, come on now. Right. Under this, I got 4C. Mm -hmm. Straight nigga. You know this ain't no black person here, so. So, why do black women wear wigs today? Like, why do you wear wigs? Well, me, I wear wigs because it's convenient. I like to switch a lot, and I don't have a perm. Mm. So, when I take this wig off, it's just pure naps, and that's just not for me. But, but I don't want a perm, so. But don't you know you have, like, the ability to wear your curls out and do, like, afros, twists, cornrows? I have the but that's not me. I don't like that for me. Like, people who do that, that's their style. I'm not Afrocentric like that. But, ma'am, but that is you because you were born that way. This isn't you because society made you be this way. You think so? Because, think about it. If we all lived in a society where it was just black people with their natural hair, mm -hmm. you would be the odd one out, right? So, black women put it on today because they see other black women doing it. I think it's a curse. Well... I grew up in the 80s and our grandmothers and stuff was wearing wigs and shit. It just wasn't like um, lace fronts. They didn't have all that back then, but they mm -hmm. was wearing wigs. They were? Yes. Why do you think they were wearing wigs back in the 80s? For convenience. It didn't have nothing to do with trying to be white. I just think it was convenience back then. You know how easy it is just to slap on the wig? Your hair is done. But I can say the same thing about cornrows because you can do it once and they, they can last you for two, three weeks. Or They're not fresh. You want your girls to be fresh. Like some people just don't care about their appearance. If you into your appearance, you mm -hmm. you can feel what I'm saying. But some people will walk around with a month old cornrow mm -hmm. or a weave that's been in for six months. If you do take care of it, like you put your bonnet on, you put your oils in there every night, then it's still gonna be scruffy. Is it really? With, yes. the, with the bonnet? The bonnet ain't really, the bonnet is like helping maybe for a week or two. Mm -hmm. But not for no whole month. Come on, it's still gonna be giving scruff. But do you think hairstyles should be left in for months at a time? Because then it doesn't be become protection. It becomes neglection of your natural hair at that point. That's true unless you wash it. Like some people, when they get braids and stuff, they wash. You can still get to your scalp mm -hmm. and you grease it. That's what I was doing. I just don't wear box braids no more. Do you think black women who wear wigs love their natural hair under? I think so. Look at Cardi B. Look at Nicki Minaj. Every now and then they got to show y'all what's up. But think about it. Like, let's say I have a child, right? And I say, I love my child. But I put my child in the closet to protect him from the world. I only feed him and wash him every two to three weeks. But I love that child. That's my child. That's different. It's not different, yes, though. It's the same thing. Ma'am, your hair is alive. It's a part of your body. It's hard coming from a man to understand right. a woman's point of view. Y'all don't have that problem. Y'all just have, maybe y'all have some dreads, or y'all just got a, a haircut that you get mm -hmm. taken care of every, what, two weeks? It's easy. You know how we could have like six different looks every day if we wanted to. Right. It's I mean, easy. I mean, but men can too because we, we have the ability to wear toupees, wigs, and stuff like that, but they just don't do it. Yeah, it's like taboo for y'all. Right. So, I mean, I but. Mean, what they do, you see them man lace fronts on Instagram? Bruh. <laughs> those be. I seen that on Timu, like Timu fake wigs for men. I'm like, bro. But it's crazy but some to me. Some of them look so good, like you would never know they was bald. So you telling me if you found out 
a dude was wearing a, a fake curly wig, you wouldn't try to rip it off? No, I wouldn't try to rip it off. I would probably be showing it a little bit, but I wouldn't try to rip it off. Right, because it's not normal. But today, I, I feel like society made black women believe that like wigs and fake hair is normal when it's really not. Society make people believe a lot of stuff. Mm. A lot of stuff that wasn't normal like in the 70s and the 80s. This generation, y'all look at it as normal. We like, what the fuck? Like, but society normalizes everything. Are you gonna teach your kids to wear their natural hair or fake hair or let them do whatever they want to? Well, I'm done having kids and she grown, she can do whatever she want to do with her mm. hair. But she wears the weeds because it's convenient. Is it really though? I, yes. I feel like I feel like black women do make an excuse because I feel like black women can do so many different styles. You can do, like I said, twists, cornrows, afros, dreads. Time. If you see my hair, it takes three hours just to comb through it because I don't have a perm and I don't want a perm. I have to do it in sections. Like sometimes if I wash my hair before I go to work, I have to like comb one part, mm -hmm. put the wig on, go to work because I don't have time and then come back and finish the rest. But I mean, if you if you took care of it, like let's say you were not wearing any wigs or weaves, your hair lets you know when it's too dry. So then you can moisturize it throughout the week. It that have way. To do it dry. So you mean it just naps up? Yeah, it's hard to comb nappy hair. But that's why if you put it in like, like twists, like when you unravel them, it's not nappy. It's still like sectioned out. So it's not too some hard to. Don't want I, some people don't like twists. But, so what natural hairstyle do you like? A ponytail. That's it? <laughs> On me. On, on you. me, I see other styles that I like on other females. Like me and my cousin was just talking the other day. We were talking about females who wear bald heads. Ball, ball. Tawanda Braxton ball. Mm. That ain't me. How do you, you know? Have you done that? I would never. But so since you do wear wigs a lot, why don't you experiment? Just shave it all off. No, and I then, want my hair. Huh? Why do you want your hair if it's not I showing? I need it. I for what? show it. I need it oh. for when I'm ready to show it. Sometimes I don't wear the wig. Okay, so how often do you show it? Probably like two months out the year. Two months out the year? Come on, ma'am. We got to do better than that. How can you see? <laughs> I think it's hard you being a man. You you can't really speak on this. Why not? I have the same hair you do. I have 4C hair. But you a, guys just have a short haircut. Right, but I mean, my hair comes down to like right here. I still got to do the same things to it. How long is your hair? How shoulder length. Shoulder length. So mm -hmm. mine is going to be there soon. Pressed out. M maybe. Draw up, it's like... <laughs> Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that, though. See, you. See, what you got to realize is that, first of all, you a man speaking on women issues. That's this true. It's is almost like you speaking on telling us if we should have an abortion or not. It's kind of hard. Right. But, I mean, don't you know a lot of black men love your natural hair? Okay, like, but it's not what y'all love. It's what we love. It's nice that y'all like it, but we come first. The man who you had the kid with, like, you don't care about his preferences or anything like that, or... Do you even care about what black men think? I would care about what my black man thought or whatever. But, but if you met me wearing wigs and weaves, don't try true. to switch it up. Right. So you think you're going to be like this the rest of your life? Just wigs to the day you die? Pretty much. Mm. I'm just addicted to wigs. Like, I have so many. So it is an addiction. I've been trying to tell them that it's an addiction it's for real. It's definitely addiction. It's definitely an addiction. So I think it's because of the chemicals in the wigs that they don't tell you guys about. Like they probably put like crack cocaine inside the wig strands and it comes down into your scalp and it's just so addicting. What do you think about that? I think that's... Too far? Cap. Yeah, I think that's too, <laughs> that's too far. But I, To each his own. Some women feel like you do. But yeah. everybody got their thing. It's almost like people who say they don't eat pork but they smoke cigarettes. Like, so mm. you're protecting your body this way but you don't care about like... That's true. But all we can do is fix one thing at a time. So, I mean, with you, we can start with the wig. We want to see your natural hair. I bet you they all want to see it, too. We? Me and my audience, we all want to see it. The audience don't care. Black men, let you me know. Care. Let That's me know. you walking around doing it. Bro, I, I care, but they also care, too. Like, my whole comment section be like, yeah, we love the natural you hair. you care, cameraman? See? Oh, you know what? I should have <laughs> known, y'all. <laughs> this is a team right here, so I should have known. Yeah. But may, <laughs> maybe one day. Maybe one day. The natural I hair full time. I mean full time, like not two times a year. I switch up too much. But let's switch up just with your natural hair. How about that? Uh, no promises. I, I don't see that in the future. Dang. Oh, okay. I, I mean, know. we tried. We tried again. We failed. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate your answers, ma'am. Is it cool we put you in the video? Sure. I appreciate it. Cause some <laughs> some people see it and then they're like, oh, take me off now. But because they Wait, do be. The video on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, okay. YouTube and TikTok. I like when I interview a black woman and. She's not upset. Like, we can have a, a disagreement, 
but she's not yelling and screaming at me and trying to insult me. Women like that, it's like, it's cool. It's like she wears her wigs. I had a disagreement. I tried to, you know, make her think about other things. But at the end of the day, we're not enemies. But when I interview a lot of other black women, it's just like I will bring up my points and they get like so heated and, and offended. And I'm like, bro, why? Like, learn how to control your emotions. Have you ever dated like a, a black woman before? Uh, I wouldn't call it dating, but maybe been with so yeah i'll go there when you dealt with a black woman do you uh care about like what kind of hair that they wear no, or not at all. you don't No. so they can wear whatever they want yep. because it's not the hair that you fall in love with okay it, it's the rest of her it's the whole package <laughs> who do you feel are more insecure men or women insecure women i think why do you say so for the most part because they're always worried about what they look like and what they have to do to themselves to impress men men don't always do that okay. it's, it's not on a it's not on the men's priority list as much as it is for a woman Okay. And last question, do you feel like it's better to have one wife and multiple kids or multiple wives and multiple kids? Well, I didn't think multiple wives was an option. I mean, it's, it's called polygyny, I believe it is. Polygamy. Yeah, polygamy. polygamy. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, technically, instead of having multiple wives, I think, I think when you get a marriage license, mm -hmm. it should be like a car license. After so many years, it expires. Okay. And then, and then, <laughs> and then you should be able to renew. Okay. You have the option to renew. Right. Or move on. Do you think a lot of men would just move on to another woman? Oh, hell yeah. Well, with, with the divorce where it is now, I'm, it, I'm yeah. sure it would be up there, yeah. Mm. yeah. See, the, it's kind of like the first marriage license is like, it's like a taste, right? And if you don't like it, you just go somewhere else to eat. That's actually a very good idea. We yeah. should get that implemented. Maybe Trump can do that if he becomes president. Well, Trump's probably already done it. <laughs> That's true. All right, man. I, I appreciate your answers. Right, do you guys prefer black women to wear their hair natural or fake? Natural. Why do you say natural? Some of them real got beautiful hair. They just want right. to be like everybody else. Why do you think they wear the fake hair? Want to be like everybody else is the trend. The ones who wear like blonde straight wigs, do you think they maybe want to be white? Nah, they just want, you know, try a new look. I ain't going to say they want to look white. What about the women that wear wigs all the time? I just don't think they should wear, you know, okay. natural hair. Y'all look so beautiful with the natural hair. The hair under it, it's just not something they want to show. So they may be, like, insecure about their hair. Somebody probably said something to them. I like natural hair better than anything, but right. a lot of women don't feel that way. You guys heard it here first. These black brothers want natural hair, so wear it natural. What are you doing? What, what do you What's mean? What's this? Yeah. So this is from my YouTube channel. So I just interview people about their hair. Check it out. It is. It looks very nice. And it's from Chester. Oh. Chester, PA. But why do you think a lot of black women don't wear their natural hair today? They think it's easier to put that weave in. It ain't. A lot of them will be like, oh, well, it takes too much time to do my natural hair. My natural hair is ugly. They say things like that. Why do you think they think this way? I don't know because I don't. How long have you been natural for? For a long while. If you could give a message to the women that wear fake hair, what would you say to them to try to get them to wear their natural hair? Keep on wearing y'all fake hair. Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> Why would you say that? Because they're not going to stop wearing it. It's You're right. fast and easy for them. Right. Just like this is fast and easy for me. Right. But then when they get older, like there's a lot of negatives that come with fake hair. They should go natural right now while they're still in their youth. But you can't tell them that. Because yeah. they're going to get mad at me, right? Uh-huh. You're right. So what's up with your hair? Oh, yeah. Th this is mine. I was born this way. Oh, okay. I yeah. love it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys prefer black women to wear their hair natural or fake? Natural. As long as they look good, well, it don't matter to me. Nah, but answer the fucking question. So do you guys think they look good over there? Yeah. She look elegant, magnificent. So so you guys would date them even though they have all that? I gotta see her at least like on a bad day. He's sleazy. He is lying to you guys. He will talk to any female that shows any attraction towards him. Is that true? No, that's never been true. You guys had to pick one, natural or fake. Which one would you pick? I would go natural. But a lot of girls don't even got that much hair. That's probably why they use oh, fake hair. Question, but I will go natural. Okay, so you, so you think they bald headed under that wig? In most cases, absolutely. Is being bald headed for a woman is that a bad thing though? It's not necessarily a bad thing, but yeah, not necessarily my preference either. If you get what I'm saying, I prefer you have at least shoulder length hair. Do you think uh, a lot of them may be insecure? That's why they wear the wigs and stuff. Yeah, of course. No. I mean, if you feel like you look your best all the time with natural hair, you would just wear it like that. That's true. I don't agree with that. I feel like it's more of a social media thing. A lot of females see on social media, you know, wigs and stuff. They think it's okay to wear that. A lot of girls be bragging about how they got natural hair, how their natural hair look nice. Mm -hmm. But if it was so nice, why not wear it out? I feel like right. it's a more of an influence thing for them to wear a wig than, you so, know, what they think. So you think they do it because other women do it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. In my opinion, that's being around the bus because why do the other women do it? Because their hair 
It's not That's like true. That. You know That's saying? true. If those women over there, if they had natural hair that grew like that, do you think they would put a wig on? They would have no reason to put a wig on like right. that. Right. Because their hair would be like that. Because they would love their hair, but a lot of black women today don't love their hair. So they put on the wigs. And I think some of them may actually want to be white. Because think about it. Why don't black women today wear curly wigs? Why is it always straight wigs that they put on? They feel like they look better. You said they feel like they look better? In most cases, they do. Oh, you think so? Yeah. I think your views are going to change once you get a little bit older. How old are you? 15. I love 15. I love natural hair, though. Let's not get that misconstrued. As long as they look good, it don't matter to me. Once you get a little bit older, you're going to change. I, I promise you will. But I appreciate y'all answers today. Y'all have a great rest of y'all day.